Today in this video we're going to be looking at soldering a end connector to RG405 or commonly known as 0.141 uh, hardline. You can see I've got my end connector here. Uh, this uh, particular end connector come from China, uh, as did the, the hardline. Now you can see hardline is a bit, little bit different than normal coax. We've got this, uh, this, this variation actually comes with a, a blue sheath, a uh, plastic sheath. Um, sometimes you'll see it uh, just the, the silvery uh, tinned uh, outer conductor um, instead of the, this blue sheath, but this has actually got both. And you can see it's quite, it's quite rigid, uh, that's the reason hardline. Uh, you can bend it into all sorts of shapes and it'll keep its shape uh, quite well. Very handy for microwaves. So what we're going to do is uh, prepare this uh, cable and uh, attach it to an end connector. Okay, so the first step that we want to take is prepare our cable. Now you can see this uh, has already been, I've already stripped this uh, sheath back. So what we want to do is just uh, line things up and just check uh, how much we need to cut off. We can see there uh, that our pin uh, roughly is going to sit uh, around about there. And we can check to see, we know that uh, there's going to be enough coming out the end of the plug and, uh, and enough going into our center pin. So what we want to do with that now is just uh, score, score a mark where we're going to make our cut. So what we'll do is we'll go off and cut that. Now through the magic of editing, you can see that I've cut that. If I can get that in focus. So we've got our center pin. We want to make sure that the braid is not touching the center pin at all. In this case, it's not. And just go ahead and do a test fit over the end there, and we can see that that sits quite nicely. I always find it's a good idea to put this put your job in a vice, but uh, in making this video it's very difficult. So what we want to do is, we want to heat the pin, but also we want to flow solder into that hole. And it will spin on us as well. You can see that's now flowed in there quite nicely. Once it's cooled down, just check your connection. Make sure that you can't pull the, the pin off physically. This looks uh, quite good. And again, um, just check with a meter and make sure that the center conductor is not touching to the outer. Next thing we want to do is just slide the connector shell over the cable and push until you push it into position. And you can see there that the the pin is at the right length. And just push it a little bit more and there we go. Now I tend to find that it's easier to solder this if you've got a very hot iron. Uh, alternatively you can uh, file uh, where that hole is, uh, file a bit of um, the, uh, the outer um, shell of the connector. So all I'm doing is just filing, just filing the ends of the connector just so that the solder flows a little bit better. And you can see that it's a slightly different color. You can also go and file around the hole so that it will flow a little bit better, but generally that's not required. Just check to make sure that it's at the right length. Now, as I said, I use a, a larger iron for this particular job only because there's a lot more that needs to be heated up in the connector body and it just makes the job a little bit easier. So if you've got a larger iron, 
it uh, makes uh, it a whole lot easier. The other thing with this hard line is it is a Teflon center conductor. Um, the center, sorry, the, center, the insulation of the center conductor is Teflon, so it's very difficult to, to go and melt it. It's a little bit better there. I can just turn this iron on, so taking a little while to heat up. See the solder starting to flow now. And there we go. Doesn't require an awful lot. Put a little bit too much solder there. Uh, so there we have it, uh, soldering an end connector to hardline. Very simple, very easy. So the last thing we should do is just check to make sure that we've got no short in our connector. Um, always a good uh, idea to do this uh, before you go and solder the outer uh, to the connector, uh, just in case. Uh, so we stick our meter on uh, continuity test. We can hear that I've got, uh, got that working by touching the probes together. And we just touch the outer to the inner and we can see we're not getting any any continuity there. We can also test from the uh, the inner to the other end of the cable uh, once we put the other end of the plug on.